guys, my name is Stacey. I'm a physical therapist and an orthopedic clinical specialist. So today I'm going to be talking to you about becoming a physical therapist and just some things to consider before you take that route. So first off, if you're considering becoming a physical therapist, I would strongly recommend shadowing some PTs in different environments and different clinics. Um, that'll just give you a better idea of what the field has to offer and kind of what being a physical therapist would look like for you. And then also just being open-minded. So maybe considering shadowing other healthcare professionals as well. You know, you may have not considered being a nurse or a physician assistant in the past, but then you go shadow one and say, actually, I can really see myself doing that. So just to be open-minded in the process as well. And next, you guys know, of course, I'm going to mention loans. <laughs> so imagine coming out of physical therapy school with over $100,000 or sometimes over $200,000 of loans. And then your first job out of school is going to pay you about sixty dollars to $70,000 a year. So as you can imagine, that can be pretty overwhelming. So loans are something not to take lightly and to really consider going into the field. There are options, right? So maybe you choose the military route or maybe you decide to work in a little bit more rural area. So in my situation, I chose to work in a little bit more rural area where they did pay me a little bit more and they also offered some loan forgiveness. So for me, it was worth it. Um, but of course, I kind of sacrificed, you know, being close to things to do and all that. Though it just depends what your priorities are. Okay, so say you become a physical therapist. I would highly recommend from the beginning to have some kind of plan B or even just a side hustle that has the potential to grow because unfortunately, healthcare burnout is real and if and when you reach that stage of burnout, you want to have another option, right? So if you are just a physical therapist for years on end and then all of a sudden you're like, I want to get out into another field you have to consider, okay, what other skills do I have? What other options do I have? Like I said, just having that plan B or side hustle from the beginning might really help you in the future. So just something to consider. And lastly, if you're a new grad and you start out at a clinic where you know, you're not getting paid a lot, you're seeing a ridiculous amount of patients a day, you're seeing two to three patients at a time, don't just think that, okay, I'm a new grad, so I have to do this kind of setting. I have to see this kind of volume. There are plenty of physical therapy jobs out there where you can work with one-on-one -on -one with patients and you don't have to see that kind of volume. So just to think about your future self, you don't want to burn yourself out too early. So don't just put up with any and every job just because you feel like you're a new grad. You know more than you think and you are of value. So, you know, make sure... You know, just make sure you choose a clinic and a job and leadership where you feel like you're not going to burn out after just a couple months. So anyways, you know, there's pros and cons to every job, but I just wanted to put that out there because those are some very important things to consider before you choose the physical therapy route.